with us.
Hello. Uh, why do you seem familiar? Have we met? Ah, yes. Very good. And have you done that? What a relief. You hold months of work in your hands. Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. Hmm, sadly true. Contraband does tend to fetch a high price among the colony's ne'er-do-wells. So be it. I'll buy them off of you. Much obliged. Here are your bids. Now, let's see here. Attach this, twist that, apply a little pressure, and... Voila! I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh. Hmm. I can't be caught with this. You take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model, hot off the presses. I'll, uh, call you? Yes, I'll call you.
Hail Captain, your return time is within 14% of the expected value. Hey Captain, I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and, and, and I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I smell like sweat most days and well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking. I mean, only if you're not busy or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. Anyhow, next time we dock, Whoever has been in the shadow. Good to see you, boss. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer. This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your SAM? Registering new... SAM units live to clean and clean to live. Issuing sanitation. Thank you, customer. SAM, we guarantee... All SAM units travel fully assembled in a 12... Did you know SAM units are capable of equipping regulation... Got stubborn stains? Leave them for SAM! Would you like a reminder on when your next shower is scheduled? Welcome back, Captain. How can I... I'll be here. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark.
something on your... I could probably sp Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? Of course, that don't... Heard from the last is down on 22. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled. Purpleberry Punch. You want a punch? We got your punch right here. Rizzo's Lemon Slap. Slap your whole family. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity? You don't hurry up. Stop. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? My stars, what a find. Fine picking like this deserves an equally fine payout. Go on, dearie, and don't spend it all in one place. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me... Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Are you positive? Can't say I wasn't hoping for more. But, I suppose it can't be helped. Law bl- I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, 
Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. High-grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? We didn't have anything rosish in Edgewater. I heard it smells real pretty, though. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Any times. This place has a smell, right? It's not just me. Like mold and old socks. I'm gonna be able to set foot on the whole of the planet. I know monarchs and moon. I think it counts anyhow. Area analysis is as follows. Significant dust and spore concentration. That can be estimates. Calculating. 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 Scheduled advertisement for the following. Remember Auntie Cleo? Oh, I'm sorry. Was this your room? I'll just move. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were hungry, who gave you a needle full of love? Auntie Cleo, that's who. Have you given your auntie a hug today? How do you do? Of course, most of our supplies come in. I try and steer clear of that.
looking sharp. Unless you're here to file. Got a hot one for you, Captain. <sighs> Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. With that bastard McRed... Do I look like you're... Then get to be We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Started back before the cross. The original force was made up of a Marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailward Fleet. I hope this fancy soap... Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these up. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish from... And then for dessert, there's a thing called... There's gotta be some... Thanks, Captain. I know I'm... Out. Hey. That pad down there, with the lights off, there are people unloading a ship. Probably another something. Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? Watch your step, Captain. The floor is wet. Sam recently mopped in here. Yes, you caught me. What's occupied? Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bokonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. 
And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu jo- Yeah. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town much like... I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was... infected early. On the contrary. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. They thought I was fighting the plan, should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige, but that was not me. The simple version is this. Everything flows from the equation, or in layman's terms, the grand plan. The answers to these questions don't really matter. The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within it. Our paths have variants, but we'll end up adhering to it, whether we like it or not. Some choices make the path smoother, some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go, it's like an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. This book is my last hope, and you were my only hope of getting it translated. I honestly don't know what I'd do. This quest has consumed me for the better part of my life. I fear there's nothing else left to me. What about you? What's your story? And how did he do that? Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Let... That seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? A commendable attitude. What a mess! What a mess! Sorry, mine. Sometimes I can hear Vickers saying. Message from Dr. Wells. We'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. 
You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Come see me. Best of luck. Captain, an unusual wavelength is coming through Monarch's Aether Wave frequencies. The Eternal is in us all. The OSI would have you believe that your place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. A man who works in the mines of Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for naught but a few bits a night. This fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, his part in the grand plan? No, I say. Greatness is in... That was unexpected and odd. Analyzing the subtextual ordering. I believe it was a type of sermon, Captain. Very zealous in origin. <laughs>